I'm at Marymore Park in Redmond, Washington. So a week from now we have a lunar eclipse uh, early morning. I think it's, uh, I gotta double check, March 20, uh, May 26. And um, I'm just out here shooting uh, the sun being eclipsed by clouds as they pass by just for a little bit of practice seeing what kind of natural scenery I can get behind. Uh, the nice thing is that part of the lunar eclipse happens just before uh, just before dawn so we'll get a little bit of light. I've never seen an eclipse like that before so I'm really excited about that. But I want to say that um, last March when we first went into quarantine I had an experience that gave me what scientists call the overview effect, but I didn't even have to leave the Earth to experience it. So, I went to my favorite grocery store, and to my dismay, I used to have a favorite a cafeteria area to sit down and eat, but they had closed it off. This is mid-March 2020 we're talking about. That was a shocker for me. I've never seen anything like that in my lifetime. I mean, I, some of the biggest events in my lifetime, probably 9-11, right, the financial crisis. I mean, we did have a, events where people panicked and didn't want to go out in public because of shootings, because of, uh, well, we had other pandemics that were much smaller in magnitude. People didn't want to go out, but it was never a lockdown, a mandatory lockdown. So that was a big shocker to me. And so I leave that grocery store and um, I look up at the sky and um, the sun still works, the clouds still work. And um, later that week we had um, a conjunction of uh, Mars and Jupiter, if I remember correctly. This is in March. I'll let you look up the exact dates. And obviously we've had uh, uh, all the moon phases, obviously. We've had, uh, obviously the moon comes into conjunction with all the planets once a month, right? And then we had, uh, on May 17th of 2020, we got a little bit of a taste of Jupiter and Saturn coming into conjunction. The Earth moves faster than either Jupiter or Saturn. So Jupiter and Saturn had a close approach in May before the full conjunction in December last year. And it just gave me a sense of how small we are, right? All that still works, right? Uh, the pandemic, as far as I know, is still just limited to the Earth, right? Um, and I want to live long enough to see a pandemic where humans have already lived on multiple planets, right? So we might have to close inter interplanetary travel for some time. Although, um, see, I, one of my biggest regrets during the pandemic was that I didn't leave the country, right? Because I could have lived in somewhere where the cost of living was a whole lot lower. Maybe next time around I'll go to another planet before we lock down and um, although working remotely would be tricky, right? If I'm teaching, I'm a professor, if I'm teaching from Mars, I don't think my students would be able to interact one-on-one, -on -one, right? They would be watching a video with a 15-20 minute delay, right? Anyway, um, we're small, we're small and um, enjoy the uh, lunar eclipse a week and a half from now, right? Fortunately, nobody can lock nature out of that.